What is shaking, Internet? This is Salt's bringing you the How to Tank for Dummies Lei Shi LFR Guide. Lei Shi is the third boss in the final raid of the first tier in Mists of Pandaria, the Terrace of Endless Spring. There is one big pack of adds before Lei Shi's platform. These elementals hit pretty hard, but can all be tanked together. Uh, they'll cast Dispersion after a bit, so try to interrupt it. Uh, if no one interrupts it, they will actually disappear for a bit, then come back after a few seconds. <laughs> So make sure people understand that in case they didn't die so that they're not surprised when they come back or they run off and forget about the ads. After dealing with them, the boss will appear. Lei Shi. Oh my. I really don't like this boss for whatever reason. Regardless, the first thing and most important thing you need to know as a tank in this fight is that Lei Shi casts spray continuously throughout the fight. She will cast faster as her health goes down, meaning later in the fight she will actually be casting spray more often and faster. Spray uh, does damage to her main target, hopefully the tank, and anyone within a few yards of them. Additionally, it puts a debuff on you that increases this damage and stacks every time spray hits you. This debuff is applied to everyone hit, so the two tanks need to stand apart from each other. Seems to be kind of a theme in this raid. So basically, the tanks should be spread out, and hopefully no one will be anywhere close to either of them, so that the only people getting hit by spray is the two tanks. Whenever one tank gets to around 10 stacks, the other tank should taunt off. This is the fundamental idea of tanking Leishi throughout the entire fight. Watch your stacks, since if the other tank doesn't taunt off you, then you can actually get to around 40 stacks near the end of the raid, or end of the fight, which is a ton of damage. In addition to Spray, Lei Shi does a number of other very annoying moves, most of which change the way the fight is happening. First up is Get Away. Lei Shi will teleport to the middle of the platform and push everyone away from her slowly. She'll also deal damage everyone to everyone for a decent chunk of damage. Um, as long as you're moving, though, you'll take much less damage from this. So keep running toward Lei Shi as much as possible to avoid her damage. Note that she will not cast Spray during Get Away. So that's a little reprieve. Next up is Hide. I hate this move. Basically, Lei Shi will disappear and can no longer be targeted. Uh, she'll go to a spot somewhere on the platform, invisible, and continue casting spray on random people in the raid. She can be damaged by AoE moves, uh, as long as they aren't targeted. Uh, and you will stop hiding after, or she will stop hiding after some damage or some time passes. You can look around for a random spraying water visual effect that actually gives away her position. Last up is protection, or whatever it's called. Every 20% of her health, so at 80%, 60%, 40%, and 20%, Lei Shi will become completely immune to damage and summon four elemental adds. As soon as any one of these adds is killed, the bubble will pop and the fight resumes as normal. Because of this, as soon as the adds spawn, I find one and I mark it with a skull. You want the DPS to focus down one ad to make this part much faster and get back to DPSing the boss. Uh, the ads themselves do a decent amount of damage, but more importantly, Lei Shi actually continues to cast Spray while she's protected by the bubble. Uh, it's best if the off tank can grab two of the ads and the main tank can grab two of the ads, well, when the main tank's still tanking Lei Shi, uh, then the off tank needs to watch the stacks of Spray on the main tank and should taunt Lei Shi whenever the stacks go over 10. Yes, Lei Shi is invincible right now, but she's still tauntable, and that will switch her stacks of spray over to the off tank. She'll start What's casting that? spray on the off tank instead. Cooldowns definitely should be used here, as the adds plus the stacks of spray can really put the hurt on you. If you can handle spray stacks and the taunting back and forth, then Honestly, the fight is yeah, really pretty easy. Uh, be careful when Lei Shi spawns oh. adds, as these will be doing a ton of damage that have to be tanked. Uh, and have to be tanked, or the little DPS will cry. They they go, boo hoo hoo, I'm getting, I'm taking some stuff over here. Um, hide and get away are mostly uninteresting as a tank. They're just really freaking annoying. Uh, there aren't any real different mechanics in normal versus LFR. I'm told that the adds hit like absolute trucks though, so bigger cooldowns and even CC is necessary to to handle those adds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very quick guide for Lei Shi. Uh, for dummies. Please like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz, and as always, you keep it salty, internet.